Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. This is Ranji Raj and you are streaming on the Steady Beast. So in my previous video, I discussed regarding the virtualization concept in cloud computing. So today I'll be covering regarding the uh, implementation levels of the virtualization. So stay tuned to understand what are the different implementation levels uh, in virtualization. So basically we have five different stages or five different levels at which we have to virtualize this. Uh, in order to do the cloud computing virtualization. So first of all at the base level we have the ISA or the ISA that is the instruction set architecture. Now a uh, so few examples of this is BOSS and Cruzo, Kimu, Bird and Dynamo. Next I will uh, discuss regarding these levels in detail. First let us cover a brief idea uh, what are these levels. So moving above this we have the HAL layer that is the hardware abstraction layer which has example uh, called as VMware, Virtual PC, Denali, Zen, L4, Pix84, User Mod Linux, then you have Cooperative Linux. Then at the third level you have the OS, that is at the OS level you have Jail, Virtual Environment, Enzymes, VPS and FVM. Next at the fourth level you have the library, that is the user level APIs you have there. There you have Wine, Wabi, Alexa Run, Visual Main VM and VCUDA. Next at the fifth level you have that is at the final level is the application level. There you have different different JVMs, you have Java Virtual Machine and .NET CLR that is common language runtime. An example of it is Panot which we basically use uh, in cloud computing. So uh, these are the five different levels for uh, virtualization that is these are the implementation levels means at each of this stage you have to just progressively go up and finally you reach at the top then application level you will execute these programs and successfully run your application and by means of that you will virtualize those services and those all uh, types of virtualization which I have discussed in the previous video that to achieve at the application level. Well let us uh, get into detail regarding uh, each of these layers so at the very first layer we have that is the IHA that is the instruction set architecture. So from the name itself you will get to know that it is at the microprocessor and microcontroller level. So we have a basic set of instructions. Now uh, basically the uh, what we do is like we have a physical system there and then we write some programming logic to that and finally we uh, emulate it as a software. Now obviously uh, the system which we are doing on this kind of stuffs like virtualization is the uh, host OS and the machine on which uh, we are doing this or the virtual machine itself is called as the guest machine. So the host machine has got some kind of CPU devices, IO etc. Now uh, you have to communicate with this. So uh, with the base level at the hardware level you have to provide certain kind of uh, instructions that is instruction set uh, you will be prepared that will be given to the hardware. So that instructions uh, when it reaches uh, to a certain level and for example say uh, you require a kind of emulator which uh, receives these kind of instructions and later it then converts it into native level instructions that is for a higher level language uh, then these are run on the host machine and on the host machine it will move up to the guest machine and will uh, provide uh, those processing power to compute the further activities. So that was all about the base layer. Next moving above that is at the HAL layer that is hardware abstraction layer. Now uh, in the very first layer since it needs some kind of uh, processing power and computing cycles to convert those instructions from lower level languages to higher level language. So what basically HAL does is it uh, finds the similarities between the guest and the host systems suitable uh, for x86 architecture. Now it basically finds uh, those those loopholes in points uh, which are similar between the guest and the host systems and it will considerably uh, reduce the amount of cycle time required to convert those instructions that is those uh, native level instructions. Now in this uh, kind of HAL abstraction implementation level is suitable for x86 architecture. Now uh, one main point regarding this HAL is that only the implementation of the HAL will be successful if you capture certain kind of PI. Now PI in this is privileged instructions. Now this privileged instructions are the most critical and crucial instructions which you need to 
identify and monitor and then pass accordingly while the system is in process now you have to uh, trap this uh, pi that is privilege interactions and then you have to send it to the vmm that is the virtual machine monitor and finally when you achieve this or uh, if you do this you are able to successfully uh, trap the pi and then send it to the vmm then it can be said that uh, you have successfully done the step 2 that is the hardware abstraction layer and so uh this is more critical like uh, if you miss any kind of privileged level instructions at the cpu then uh, there is a chance that the system gets uh, like or a crash may occur or the handling will be more over difficult to them so that you just have to consider in level 2 then moving up to that is level 3 it maintains uh, distributed systems data structures and libraries and the environment for setting and other prerequisite for the guest and the host now in at the os level uh, for example say at the hal level you have successfully installed your applications and you are virtualizing it now at the hal layer suppose uh, if you are running the host machine on the same operating system that is on the windows operating system and on the guest also you have the same os now at times it may happen that it will not identify uh, the similarities or the what differences between these two operating systems suppose you are using uh, windows uh, 7 host on the on the host system and on the guest you are using suppose windows 8 then it will be like more over like a redundant case both are windows it will not consider the version so in order to overcome that an os level implementation is there so it mainly identifies uh, those data structures and those stacks Which are particularly meant for Windows 7, Windows 8, and other operating systems, and it will do the other prerequisite for setting the guest and the host OS. So that was about the level three, that is the OS level. Now moving above, you have the user level APIs, that is programming APIs. So since uh, at the application level, at the high end application, you might have to do many kind of processing and calculations. Moreover, like coding part, you have to do. So for that, you need a larger set of library. application programming interfaces are required so for that you have specially this library at the user level apis are there so all this that is the wine wabi alexa and visual main vm and we could have provide these kind of libraries for implementing this now uh, this apis that is the uh, application programming interfaces can also be uh, called at the at this layer specially as the abi that is the application binary interfaces now what this does is it will automatically convert the programming logic into the binary format there is no need of kind of any intervention or like uh, no emulation kind of process is required in between this next uh, we move on to the final level that is at the application level so at the application level uh, what we does is we write codes for this program and successfully executes it uh, once all the uh, below four uh virtualizations are successfully implemented so in this user level programs and os are executed and applications behave like the real machine uh, as if they are meant to and we have the io map or the io memory map is used to deal with the hardware so that all internal kind of stuffs uh, happen at there and mainly we have this jvm and .net clr so mainly uh, this clr is common uh, language runtime which considers uh, many of the systems and applications to run and one of its example is panot which is mainly used for cloud computing virtualization at the application level so at the clr when clr comes into picture it uh, like blends with the java and provides the best efficiency and optimization uh, for doing the virtualization and hence uh, like system uh, the efficiency of the system basically increases So well, that was all about the implementation levels of virtualization. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.